uh, Tianzi, and I hope that I pronounced that correctly. Tianzi is the name of a, a brand of pens. This is one. Uh, and they asked me if I wanted to review it, and I said yes, and here it is. I'm going to show you the parts of this pen. I will do a writing sample, and I will tell you what I like and what I don't like about this pen. Let's get started. All right, the TNZ pen. <clears throat> I couldn't really find a model name, um, but here we have the pen. Nice dragon there, and on the side, um, I was kind of hoping uh, that someone would be able to pause the video and who can read the characters and give a translation, uh, because currently the translation says the view from without losing, body posture exhibition, air quoi, Handwriting as flowing clouds. Uh, you open the box. In there is normally the pen, of course. There's a little pen condom, and then there is this nice little bed for the pen, and that is it. Okay, so simple, nice, unassuming box. I like that. It's also all cardboard, so it can be recycled easily. Here we have the pen, and here we have a Pilot Metropolitan to compare it to. And as you can see, it's not super small. I think this is a very nice pen size. Not obscenely oversized, but a nice size that I think would work well for a lot of people. I also see some parallels with, say, the Narwhal pens. Let's cover the parts of this pen. On top, finial, same material as the cap. It's all the same material, and I really like that. We have a clip, which is a bit on the stiff side, but definitely springy enough, and has a nice ski slope shape that slips into pockets very easily. A center band with what looks to be a laser engraving that says Tianzi on one side and China on the other side. Feel free to correct my pronunciation of Tianzi because I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. Isn't Tian heaven? He asked, kind of, I don't know. Anyway, sorry, uh, barrel, piston turning knob, piston fill pen ink sloshing around inside the barrel. The pen unscrews, and then we have a steel nib, in this case medium, with a laser engraving of the Dragon logo Tianzi and medium, plastic feed, and a section that tapers down, flares out just ever so little. The pen is comfortable to hold, I find. It's, again, not small, it's a nice size, it works well, and if you want to, you can post it, and it posts securely, but because it doesn't post very deeply, the pen becomes very large. And I don't know how comfortable that really is. When I tried to write with it that way, I didn't find it very comfortable for longer periods of time. That's, I think, what I have to say about it. Uh, there is a metal ring there. Uh, it does not come with a wrench. It looks, I can't unscrew this now, but it does, you do see a metal piece with two grooves. It looks like maybe a Twisby wrench might fit, or uh, the, the uh, current uh, narwhal pens come with a little wrench. I think you can find a wrench that fits that, but the section unscrews. So if you want to do maintenance, for example, by lubricating the piston, you can by just unscrewing the section for which you need no tool. I thought that was a nice touch. So let us see how it writes. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Here we have the TNZ pen. Again, I don't believe there's a model name. This is the medium nib, and the ink is the fountain pen revolution. It's a blue, and I forget the exact name, but it's a blue. It looks like a turquoise, but it's labeled as a blue. The writing experience with this pen, I have found to be very pres uh, pr present, no, well, also present, I suppose, but pleasant, because it is a fairly wet writer that has a good flow. There is no issues that I have run into with this uh, particular pen. It has not run dry. Uh, I have not uh, had any startup issues, really. So that has been very uh, comfortable. Now, as to fast writing, which I always like as a test of how well the feed keeps up. I've had no issues there either. And again, <clears throat> it is a relatively wet writer. The nib is round, it's not marketed as a flex nib, 
it is a steel nib and I'm exerting quite a bit of pressure here this is just for testing purposes I wouldn't recommend it but you can squeeze out some line variation you're not supposed to but theoretically you could then we have reverse writing which is possible it's quite smooth and it definitely turns this pen from a medium into a fine overall pleasant writing experience I think we need to discuss what I like and what I don't like about this pen. TNZ, what do I think about the pen? I think it's a nice pen. I've got to be honest. I will take a straightforward, unassuming pen any day of the week. I will take that over marketing nonsense. It's a pen, it's solid, it has a piston filler. We see more and more Chinese pens with piston fillers. It has a solid steel nib that writes well. You can choose between fine and medium. You can unscrew the section so that you as a user can maintain the piston. Maybe in the future it would be nice if a little wrench would be included to take out the piston unit entirely. But again, if you need to grease it, a little bit of silicone grease on a Q-tip, unscrew the section, put it down the barrel, no problem. You can do that as an end user, which I think is great. Can't do that with certain other brands. <laughs> Mont Blanc. What? I know what you said. Um, you can do that with this. And it was, how much again? $52 Canadian. This is Canadian. That, that's how Etsy showed up for me. And I'm sorry, you can do the conversion to whatever um, currency you, you use. Large ink capacity. It looks pretty. It's a good looking pen. In my mind, this is a good looking pen. The swirls are very attractive. They're quite deep in the material. I like it. I think it actually is a nicely made pen. Matching section, that's always bonus points in my mind. I wish the LB5 had that. But that may not be a $50 pen. Um, it's comfortable. It works. It does everything it's supposed to do. I love it. Be a good gift, uh, either for yourself or for others. What can I say? It writes properly, has given me no issues. Out of the box it wrote. Can't say that for some more expensive brands. I just like it. I think it's a well-made product. And that always makes me smile. It's affordable. Relatively speaking, affordable. It writes. Hit the nail on the head, Tianzi. Outstanding. Keep it up. Thank you for sending me the pen. I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.